Marquette kicked off second semester play Wednesday against Seton Hall, looking to improve to 4-0 in Big East play. The Golden Eagles offense was sluggish at times throughout the game, but were able to capitalize on a major depth advantage as Seton Hall only played seven players throughout the entire game. Marquette's bench contributed 39 points compared to Seton Hall's eight points that helped lead the Golden Eagles to a 69-62 victory. I thought tonight we were just okay on the glass. We've been better on the glass thus far in Big East play. Offensively, we're pretty good in the first 10 seconds of the possession. We're just okay in the next 16 to 18 seconds of the possession. Sometimes Devontae will allow us to do some other things. If Vander's in a good groove, when Jamil, who I think has been playing really, really well, but normally it's the first 10 or the last 10. Being the sixth game in a row, Gardner has reached double digits. He led the Golden Eagles with 17 points during Wednesday's game. Devontae Gardner is starting to become a major influence in Marquette's offense. We're a different team than last year. We've got a, a lot of different guys that can fill in a lot of different roles. And we got a lot more talent. So, I mean, when it comes to something like defensively or offensively, like we do it so much in practice. And, I mean, it's, that's where you prove everything. That's where you learn everything. That's where you jail as a team. Another player who is starting to find his niche on the team is Todd Mayo. Mayo tallied in 12 points against Seton Hall to make it the second game in a row he has reached double figures. I, I, I thought that was great. I, I thought how he played in the second half always calmed the run that they were on. They made seven threes. Um, that, that's, that's a lot. And I thought he made timely baskets. Obviously the one uh, that everybody got excited about was late shot clock. But the first one he made in my book was a bad shot. Um, and then he was 6 of 6 from the free throw line. Reporting from the BMO Harris Bradley Center, Shawnee Smith, MUTV Sports.